G'day guys, it's Paul from Polyman Astro and welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at Adam Block's new method for creating narrowband images, which is nice and simple, nice and quick, and gives some amazing results. Now you might have already seen his video and maybe you've seen Ryan's video from Dark Rangers where he had a look at this as well. Um, Adam asked me quite a while ago to have a look at it. Let me see the video beforehand. Um, and life kind of just got in the way and this is the first time I've had a, a chance to have a play with it. So it's probably good to see various people's takes on it and, and see what they do with it. And you can kind of take the, the, the bits you like from each of them. And that's the joy of YouTube. We all kind of share and you might not like what all of us do. And maybe hopefully between all of us, you, you get something you do like. So let's dive across and we'll have a look at what we're playing with today. So I have some of my Gabriella Mistral data and I've already gone through and done Blur Exterminator and Star Exterminator uh, just to, to save us a little bit of time. Now, Adam's method kind of has two steps to it if you haven't seen um, either of the, the videos that have come out yet. It's a two-pronged attack. You, you create a HOO image that you're happy with, then you work on the S2 data um, and give it a, a color that you'd like, and then you kind of blend the two together. Um, if you've ever seen any of the work by Craig Stocks, um, he does a lot of this, but he does it in Photoshop. Um, the, the idea is the same though, that you create a nice HOO image and then you blend in the S2 the way you'd like. Um, so we'll put this S2 data out of the way and we'll work on the HOO first. In fact, I don't actually need either of them either because the first step is just the, the channel combination to create a HOO image. Um, you may have done this before because it's, oops, you've got to press the circle button. Um, you may have done this before because it's, it's kind of a... a uh, a basic process. We'll change this to be called HOO. And there it is, there's a HOO image and it looks kind of terrible at the moment because as you'd expect, the HA is dominating. So it's quite green in the background and there's not much O3 poking out. So we'll do two things first. We'll, we'll go through SETI Astro's automatic DBE because it's awesome. Um, and um, do we need to change anything on here? We'll replace the target image. We won't show the gradient. Um, we'll keep everything else default, I think. Hopefully this won't take too long. It's an awesome script. I love Frank scripts. They're, they're, they're brilliant, straight to the point, um, and do exactly what you'd want. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, and I found this script works really well. I really like it. And that's it done, I think. So let's, there we go. Look at that background. Nice and, and space gray now. So the next thing we need to do is narrowband normalization to kind of equalize out um, the HA and the O3. So if you've watched Adam's video, what he does is he turns the blending amount down to zero. So by default, the blending mode is 0.6, or blending amount rather. So I'll turn that down to zero. Um, and all this is going to do is equalize the, the channels. So I'll reapply the screen transfer function and that should look a lot nicer now. So you can see the O3 has definitely been boosted precisely what we want. Um, maybe we'll do a bit of SCNR as well just to to reduce down that green a little bit. Better to underdo it than overdo it. You know, I normally like green. There we go. That was nice and subtle, but I think it's, it's, it's done something. So it made a little bit more blue. So that's kind of the base image we want to work with, uh, with this process. Now, I'm going to make this nice and simple. And again, use one of Frank's scripts, statistical stretch, and make this nice and easy. So let's have a look at this. That does not look too bad, does it? In fact, I think that looks quite nice. 
So let's run with that um, and see what that looks like. Now, if I was running this image fully, what I would probably do is work on getting this bit of nebulosity uh, boosted as well. Uh, but that's not the purpose of, of this um, tutorial. It's just to, to show this, this process off. Um, so there's the HOO image by itself. That looks reasonably nice. We probably do want to work on the, the black point just a little bit. So let's bring JHS up and, and do precisely that. Um, maybe about there. Oh, I didn't send to SP, did I? There we go. Like probably there. There we go. Uh, so all I did there was pull down the the black point without clipping um, the power of JHS. Um, no risk of clipping, um, and we better run noise exterminator. Um, we probably don't want to do 0.95. Let's do 0.55. And bring up the detail. Perfect. So there's the HOO done um, at this point. So now we can start working on the S2. So I'll put the HOO down here. And the S2, we won't do too much. We'll, we'll use uh, CD Astro's automatic DBE again. So don't show the gradient, replace target. Just to make sure that background's nice and nice and um, clean. Uh, it looks like it already was quite clean, which is nice. Uh, this one we might do noise exterminator before we uh, before we stretch. Probably should have done noise exterminator before I stretched on the HOO, but you know you live and learn. So there's the S2. We'll do the same thing. Whoops, with City Astro's statistical stretch because it is nice and easy to work with. But what we won't do is quite as big a stretch because the idea here is what we what we want to do is Keep the background fairly dark on this, um, kind of like this. So we want mostly dark in the background, and really we only want to stretch the, the brighter regions of the S2. So this is pretty much perfect for what we want, because we want to incorporate where the S2 is strong, and we don't want to incorporate any of the, the background as color. So that's looking pretty, pretty good. So what we do now is we open up um, the, the narrowband color mapper script and we choose an appropriate color for, for what we want. Um, so we want S2 and we want a color kind of in the yellowies, I reckon yellowy oranges. Maybe not, that's kind of sickly green. What do you reckon? Maybe there, that looks quite nice. And we want to bump up the saturation, but we don't want to bump it up to 100. So Adam's quite clear on that, because otherwise you, you risk color clipping. Um, I'm pretty sure Adam was more like 47 or something when he did his, but do we, we, oh, I want to go a bit more orange, I think. So we'll go around there. There we go. So we've now got our color image, precisely what we want. Okay, now we're going to use narrowband, uh, sorry, image blend to combine the two images. So image blend. And you can get both of these scripts from Cosmic Photons um, if you'd like. So the base image is our HOO image. 
the, the image that we'd like to blend is this new narrowband color image that we've got here. Okay, and we want to do a um, screen. And now we just get to play around with our black points and things like that, which is what Adam went through. So already that's, wow, look at that. That's looking amazing. That's looking really nice, isn't it? I want it to be kind of subtle. That's looking quite nice. I really like that. We can even play with the black point of the main image a little bit as well. To, to really make it pop. So there we go. I, I think that looks quite nice. And that's basically, that's basically Adam's method in a nutshell. You create a narrowband HOO image to your liking. Uh, and then you create uh, with the S2 image, a colorized image with the, the kind of color you want here, in this case, a kind of yellowy orange. And then you blend the two of them together using the image blend script. And you can see the the difference between the, the two of them here. And then maybe you could do a, another blend here between these two, depending on, on what you want. Um, so now all that's left to do is kind of put the, the stars back. Um, so again, I'm gonna use City Astro's um, narrowband to RGB star combination here and choose my HA stars, my O3 stars and my S2 stars. And I am going to apply a star stretch and I'm going to keep it fairly low. And there we go. There is my stars. Maybe that was too low, but we'll see in a minute. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give you a sneak preview of my star combination script here. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to select the image blend and my narrowband stars. And it's going to create the Stephen Miller approach to combining those stars into the image. So I actually think those stars were not stretched enough. So we might undo all this bit and try again. So we might, that actually looks like a nice stretch right there, doesn't it? Maybe we'll do that. Let's try that. So again, we'll open up that script. Choose image blend, choose a narrow band stars and boom. That looks better. And there we go. There is Adam Block's method for creating a narrowband image, um, nice and simply using two of his scripts. So hopefully you found that educational. Hopefully you find it as simple and easy to play with as I did. Um, it produces quite a nice image. I mean, obviously I didn't do any extras with it in terms of saturation boosting and um, things like that. I just kept it nice and simple to the point to, to what it is he does to quickly and easily create these images. So hopefully you'll have a play with your data and you'll find uh, that you like it and, and you think it's pretty cool. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it does help. Um, if you want to put comments down below um, on anything you'd like me to, to work through in the future, um, please let me know. Anyway, Thanks for watching.